Good morning. Welcome everybody. Thank you all for being here. It's 10 a.m. Central Time and um, you found your way to another WordCraft webinar and today it'll be on plastic signage. Today is Tuesday, April 28th, 2020 and today is a very important and exciting day. Stick around till the end and I'll explain to you why that is. My name is Greg Schrader and I am a sales rep here in our plastics division and today I'm going to talk to you about four of our main products that cover our plastic signage category. Okay, so we'll talk about small plastic signage. Table talkers is the second category. Um, traditional shelf danglers is our third category. And interchangeable shelf danglers, which is a brand new product just created last year, will be our fourth category. As you can see in the images there, um, we classify all these somewhat as small plastic signage. Before I move into each product, um, I'd like you to first of all know those of you who have done these webinars before probably know at the bottom of your screen, you will find a place for question and answer session. You can always click on that and um, enter any questions you have. And near the end, I will get into those questions and answers and answer all those questions for you. So as I move forward, before I really get into each one of these products individually, what I'd like you to do, so even driving to work today, as I'm driving along, I noticed, I don't, couldn't tell you how many signs are between my house and work. Then you get to work and I walk inside and even just walking from my office over to here to where we're doing this, um, you've got exit signs and you've got signs, we've got signs up that tell you where we go in case of a fire, where you go in case of a tornado, you've got wash your hand signs. Um, these signs are everywhere. And I mentioned driving to work and seeing the signs on the side of the road and that sort of thing. It's all signage. What we do here at Ward Craft, just so that you guys understand fully, is we do the smaller signage that you're gonna see inside. So um, can also be used outside to some extent, but really you'll find it more on the inside. You might find it hanging in a window. Um, but I think as you go around, if you go to retail stores, you go to your doctor's office, dentist office, vet clinic, go into any hotel. I'm sure people watching this are part of sales teams, travel quite a bit. And if you um, go into any hotel room, right there beside the bed might be a guide to, for your TV channels. You go in the bathroom, there's a little signage that tells you what to do with your towels if you want your towels replaced versus if you want to stay green and, and keep the same towels for multiple days. If you got a hanger, you know, signage that hangs out on your door, potentially, things like that. So just keep in mind that signage is absolutely everywhere. And I don't think there's a single place you'll walk in that you don't see signage. So as we move forward, I'm going to move into the first product here, which we're just calling small plastic signage. And as we've come into the COVID time, this type of signage has actually been one of our more popular types of signage. This is simply a flat piece of plastic typically. Um, now what we use is we use our composite plastic, which is traditionally either a 30 mil or 20 mil. We do have finishes in both gloss and matte. And with those, um, you'll see like in the images you see there, there's a single hole cut in the top and that's really made for like one of those suction cups to hang it in a door or window. We can have two holes in the top corners. Um, there's multiple ways that you can hang these pieces but they're in, in general, the small plastic signage is gonna be flat. We try to you know, keep them to eight and a half by 11 is actually a great size for us. Um, you see a lot of people wanting signs in that size. We're seeing a lot of seven by nine, a couple different varieties. They're being used for, like you see here, the wash your hands. They can be directional. So the idea is when traffic comes into any location, whether that be a business, um, meaning like a manufacturing facility or a business like a retail store, signage is used to direct traffic the way you want it to go. It's also used to inform traffic. It's also used to promote product. So again, it's really everywhere. So the first type of signage is generally gonna be flat like this. I, I found some interesting websites where people are selling um, safety signs. And it was really interesting to me because I always, I think of safety signs in a variety of ways. And when you go to the safety signs, they were offering each safety sign in a four mil vinyl adhesive back version, a plastic version, and an aluminum version on this particular website I was on. That plastic version is exactly what we're producing here. So um, 
I'm going to talk a little bit more about some of the options there and the possibilities of doing it as stock signage. But think about if there was a program where you could make in higher volume uh, wash your hand signs or exit signs or specific signs that you see everywhere every day and then you could sell them as single pieces as stores needed them and that's a possibility to get into also so the next product we do this is an exciting one for wordcraft this is the table talker and as we flip to that this is a patented item that wordcraft has created so we are the only ones in them that can be producing this product it is a product that is actually Again, made of our same plastic like a gift card would be. So it's thick like that. It can be 20 mil, 30 mil, either option. It is laminated, so it is very durable. The inside core on these signs also, typically we could do a paper core, but in most cases with the signs and specifically the table talkers, the synthetic core is really the best option because it gives them strong durability. Um, it means they can withstand weather to an extent like, you know, if they get moisture on them, it's not going to be a problem where water would wick that water in a little bit. I think also with something like the table talkers, the signage I showed before and all the signs I'm going to show, when they're done in this laminated plastic, what it allows you to do is take disinfectant also, which is very critical at this time, either a wipe, spray, any one, and wipe them off, clean them, get them disinfected. Um, one of the things that's been discussed a lot with the disinfectant, and I think I talked about this even in my last webinar, because this is a lot of topic for going on right now, is that with our lamination, it is a very non-porous surface, which when you read disinfectants, they work the best on non-porous surfaces. So the type of surface that this product would have should get you that 99.9% .9 bacteria killing or virus killing that the disinfectants claim they make. Um, with the table talker, a few key things here is this does ship flat, so we can ship in bulk to a location. When it arrives, they fold it up and it stands up. We have a couple versions. You can do them very horizontal, vertical. Um, they, we have some that are called winged, which means there's a little back support that helps hold it up. And that's nice because sometimes one of the tricks with the table talkers is getting the exact angle you want. And by having that wing on it folding back, it'll actually create the perfect angle that you want. We have these in sizes ranging from a basic business card kind of size, so very small, all the way up to one that's maybe 14, 15 inches tall. And so good wide range. These are great sitting on a shelf. They can, I mean, even at an auto dealership, sit on a car hood and, and give information about the particular car that's there. Uh, wide variety again. We've seen them used in every possible industry. And even going to think of all the different um, type home type parties like your Mary Kay's and your um, Avon and, and those types of say cosmetic parties, it would be nice for each person to have one of these and have a couple. And you know, if each rep that you're signing up gets five more, that order builds to a very big order very quickly. Also, um, seeing them used, you know, again, a wide variety. Um, you've got the home type party. You do have real estate agents using them to put one in each home they have listed so that when people come in, we have a version that has a little tab on the front that can hold business cards in it. And they can put that one out in on a countertop of a house they're listing. And then every person that comes in knows who the listing agent is, has a card available for the listing agent. That's really our table talker product. Again, goes through a wide range of sizes and many, many options. I'm sure you'll have some questions about that. Then we get into our shelf dangler product and there's two versions. The first one we're gonna talk about, we're just calling our traditional. This is what most people think of when they think of a shelf dangler. We typically make these on a thinner material. I've been mentioning 20 and 30 mil. When we do these shelf danglers, they're usually in a 10 or 15 mil because the actual arm that supports it that creates the dangle has to have flexibility to it to the point that the weight of the graphic is actually going to dangle out in front. You'll see the other graphic on the screen there, the American Family Outfitters, and that is what is often called an aisle violator. So the idea is that would go into a shelving system just like a shelf dangler would, but then it would fold 
And so the, the aisle violator version is for when you're walking down the aisle and you want them to see the visual while they're walking down the aisle. The dangler version is more for them to see the graphic when they're facing the shelf. So if you have a product on the shelf that you really wanna highlight, it would dangle out and highlight that product. Again, you see them in grocery stores, retail stores, go to auto parts stores, you'll see them hanging for specific products, convenience stores. Um, we've seen them used from everything from video games to like you see here, fruits and vegetables, any type of product you can think of. It could be on a specific um, chemical product for automobile just hanging in the auto parts store. Um, wide variety, and I think that with these very nice product. We see a lot of people asking for it. And that led us to the next product we have, which is our um, interchangeable shelf danglers. And where these differ is that if you can kind of see on the orange juice one that's in the picture, it, the actual arm itself is still made out of the thinner plastic. And it's typically just a white plastic. And we can supply those arms in a couple different lengths for you. And then the actual dangling part is made of our laminated plastic, which is typically 20 or 30 mil, which offers a wide variety of shapes, sizes, and it allows you to change them in and out without changing that arm. And why is that key? The key to that is that when we are printing and you're looking at cost effectiveness of printing, it's all about how many units we get out of a given sheet. If you have to include the arm in every piece, every time you manufacture, you're gonna create many more, um, you're gonna quite a few less pieces out of each sheet that's created. So by removing the arm from the piece and making it a separate piece, we could have these circles, squares, and triangles all in one sheet, cut them with a die that cuts these different shapes and offer you a variety of shapes, a variety of options. Another thing when we print the um, typical shelf danglers, it's, it's done in a process that's much more difficult for us to do the huge variety. So it's very easy for us with the laminated product because of our variable capabilities to print three of one version, five of another version, seven of another version and so on, which makes it easy for them to have more options, more interchangeability. And then within the store, it's very easy for them to just to remove one and put up another one. So if they have a weekly special that they want to put up, take down, put something different in its place, it's a much easier product to use in that respect, making it, um, you know, a superior product in our mind. And also you get the lamination durability of the graphic and the graphic seems to pop more, giving you a matte and a gloss option to cover that. So um, with that said, like I said at the very beginning, um, it's very important that you realize that signage is everywhere. I hope in seeing this that you realize signage is everywhere, you see it everywhere. And um, I want to challenge everybody today to get out there. And as you are, I say get out there, and half of the people are still in quarantine in this world, but as you get out and as you can go places, just start noticing. First of all, you're gonna notice how much signage has been sold for keeping people social distanced. You'll notice how much signage has been sold for directing traffic. Um, Walmart now has started their process of one-way aisles. They won't let you go backwards through an aisle and so on. That all takes signage to create that and implement. Um, some of it's floor signage, some of it's larger signage. A lot of it is this size signage. You'll notice when you walk in, they'll have orange cones and they'll have signs on top of it. That could be this type of signage. This would be much more durable than the signage that you're seeing in a lot of applications and also a lot more um, ability to sanitize. But then look at the normal signage, not the stuff made for COVID, but look at what's out there in the world every single day. And you'll notice every time you're standing in an aisle waiting to check out, you're going to see signage. Every time you're pulling into a parking lot and walking into a store, you're going to see signage. Doesn't matter if it's a doctor's office, dentist office, like I said, and the challenge is first start recognizing it. Second thing I would like to throw out as a challenge is learn a good conversation pattern to get yourself into the signage. 
Everybody says, how do I begin selling it? I don't have it in my mix now, or maybe I do. If you're already selling signs and you're in the sign world and you're selling large signs to go on the side of the road, there is no reason you shouldn't be selling them all their small signs. If you're selling them gift cards, if you're selling them anything that goes with their business, there isn't a reason why you shouldn't be selling signage. So a simple conversation right now for today could be just asking somebody when you start up a conversation and just asking them, how, how are you handling creating safe social distancing within your business? How are you keeping your employees safe? How are you um, figuring out where, you know, how are you helping traffic flow in the proper direction within your location? And that doesn't even have to be a today COVID question right there. Every store should be utilizing signage to direct traffic. And then if they are a particular product, how are they highlighting their product? If you walk down an aisle and one product has, you know, one orange juice has this big dangler sticking out that says buy one, get one free. And the next one doesn't have any signage. You're going to be drawn to the one that has the signage. So it's just a key of developing those conversations and really trying to come up with a great way to, um, begin the discussion on that. And then once you begin this discussion, just keep it flowing and don't be afraid to ask and ask and ask a lot of questions to learn what they really need. And then contact us and let us help you figure out what the right signage is for that application. So let me see if we have any questions today. Um, I need to scroll down. Okay, so we do have a couple questions here. I think that one of the questions coming up here that's been asked is, it deals with turn time because Obviously, when you are talking the bigger signage, that can take time. And um, I know that we're in a time frame where things need to be quick because people may need social distancing signs tomorrow. Well, with our turn time, I would say on almost any one of these signage type products I've talked about today, the four basic categories I've talked about here, um, our standard turn time would be anywhere from three to five business days. And if you need it sooner, that's always a potential option. And that would be after any proof approvals, but we will work to get you anything you need as quickly as you can at this time, because we understand the urgency. But three to five days would be our normal turn time. And then there's also some questioning on, I've mentioned the big signs and our signs, where do we draw the line? And what kind of sizes do we offer? So I would say with our signage, you think of anything from business card size, even smaller. I mean, I don't know why you'd need anything much smaller, but you might have a shelf strip that you just need a strip in the shelf and it, we can make it that thin. Um, all the way up to really the biggest sign that, that we are really involved in would be something maybe about 11 inches by about 17 inches, if you consider that maybe. So two sheets of standard paper would be about our max size in a sign that we can create as one sign. Um, so those are great questions. I appreciate them. And I think that that is all the questions. Let me check one more time. Yeah, that answers all the questions we have going there. And so what I would like to see from everybody is um, reach out and, and have a discussion with us. Let's talk about some of the ways that you can ask the right questions to begin talking to people about their signage that they need. And I would also like to, to throw this out. I would love to have a discussion with anybody who thinks the concept of a, um, a sort of stock program with signage of some pre-made samples to where it's like exit signs and um, wash your hand signs and no smoking signs and something that could be a consistent stock product. Is there a market for that out there? Do we have resellers out there that want to jump on that bandwagon and promote that type of product and, and get out there and, and create a website or do something like that that wants to promote that particular style of, of the signage? Because I think that could go gangbusters and I'm not sure that we have. Um, we, it's not something we're currently doing, but it is something we're entertaining because it should be a simple way for people to get out there. And like I said, I was looking at that website individual signs we're selling for 13 to 19 dollars a piece and um, i'm sure we could figure out a way that that could be profitable for everybody so i would love to have that discussion so my contact information is there 
again, G Schrader at wardcraft.com. Um, and then also my phone number 1-800-821-4021. I'm extension 4132. And I would love to hear from anybody talking about that. Now at the beginning, I did mention that today was um, an important and exciting day. And I tell you about that here at the end. So I'm gonna throw that in here at the end. So today is an exciting day because I don't know how many of you pay attention to all these national days of stuff. It seems like there's 10 for every single day, but today happens to be National Blueberry Pie Day. And blueberry pie is one of my favorites and one of our local coffee shops is doing a blueberry pie special thing all day. And so um, if you get the opportunity, get out there, get yourself some blueberry pie and, and take advantage of that. But the reason why today is really important is today is Monday or Tuesday, April 28th. And today is my anniversary. So I thank you all for being here. And, and if my wife is out there watching, happy anniversary, love you. And um, everybody have a great day. Thank you.